Hello, <clears throat> today we're going to show you the inner workings of a LCD video projector. This projector came from a Panasonic rear projection TV which the displays were starting to fry up and therefore had to be replaced. This video will show you how it works, how the colors combine, and all the neat stuff that's inside which you wouldn't expect to make the magic happen. Of course there's plenty of videos showing you LCD projectors but none actually show you how they work. Of course there's all sorts of electronics that drive everything but that's not interesting. Most people want to see what's on the inside of the projector that itself that makes it all work. First off, we're going to show you right here. This is where the light enters. The projector bulb would be here. And it goes through two different lenses. As you can see, they're square in nature and made of individual lenses. There's a second set, set of those inside as well. We'll get to that in a moment. A light is shined into the projector, which then the individual red, green, and blue channels are made up. The image is then combined and casted out on the lens. Now the flashlight's too dim to show anything. As you can see, there's nothing. But now, let's take a look on the inside. I've dismantled everything, so it'll just all pull apart nice and easily. As I mentioned before, there are two sets of lenses, similar to this one here. Let's find where I'm pointing. There it is. And there's a second set of the same right here which is behind this little divider. In the end, you wind up getting a, what appears to be a solid light beam. Since somehow, in some way, they tend to twist this segment this way. And this lens over here then casts the light out in a way to make it more uniform. Ultimately, it'll get to these lenses here. As you can see, these lenses help to produce the ability for the LCD to display an image. Now, what you don't realize is that an LCD by itself, it practically renders a totally invisible image, so you need a set of plastic lenses in which allow the light to be blocked or let through depending on what the LCDs are doing. You might have noticed that these lenses don't really have colors to them. So how are the colors made? This is quite an interesting process. They're done with special passive reflective mirrors where the light goes through this mirror but reflects other light here. The light that goes through here hits this mirror. Some of the light will go through and the rest this way. Ultimately, the last bit of light goes through this way. This and that mirror are just plain old mirrors. Nothing special about those. But these two mirrors are special. They do some pretty strange stuff. Let's take a look at this one. As you can see, once again, if the flashlight wants to work, 
There it is. That. Your blue light comes here. Your green light comes from here. And your red light comes from here. But as I said, these lenses here, here, and here don't have any color to them. So how are they getting the individual colors? This is where these two mirrors come in handy. The first one here, as you can see, produces yellow as I'm shining it outside. But look at what it's reflecting. It reflects blue light. This is a better way to show it. Let me move this out of the way. And there's the flashlight. You can probably see the yellow light there, hopefully. And there's the blue. It might be really hard to see. There's your yellow. And there's your blue. That's how that set works. Now I'm going to put this in. So now we've got our blue light coming through here. And in the world of light, the primary color in yellow is red and green. So now we got the green channel. which goes through this filter, magenta. Now, of course, that will help red. And the light that's not red, that's reflected, is, as you can see, green. So again, I'll try to show it off again. There's the light. There it is, it's red. And there's the green reflection. Put that back in the projector. Now we've got our red or should I say we have our green and blue. So the magenta obviously passes the magenta through. So that leaves our red channel. But as you know, red and magenta are two different colors. So now we gotta filter out the blue that makes up magenta. Magenta is blue and red. So we have this special lens here that turns the light red. There's no special trickery here. It's just a flashlight. There we go. It doesn't like to work sometimes. As you can see, it produces red. Back into the projector, this light goes. So then the red light goes here, through this lens, and here. You might notice you have regular lenses here. They're just ordinary lenses. In this case, they actually do help the color. When I first went through this thing, I did not see that. It didn't look like it was helping any. Apparently that one's tinged green, so this one, yeah, that's why, because I pulled out the blue one when I first took this apart. So apparently the green and the red do need a little help. And this one's just a regular lens, too.